is the Cornerman Radio. We live with Barzini. I want to welcome our guest, Mr. James Kirkland. Hey, what's going on, baby? How y'all feeling? Man, I'm just chilling, man. How you been, James? I ain't going to lie to you, man. I've just been good, man. Just uh, been just trying to elevate, man, and, you know, transfer a lot of stuff into business, you know, in the boxing world. And then it got a lot of stuff like lawn care. There's a lot of different things that I'm trying to elevate and just try to jump off to keep uh, things moving and grooving, you know? Right, right. Yeah, man, because... We haven't seen you in two years, man. We was like, yo, where's James, man? We don't see you on the interviews. We don't see you on the reporters reporting anything about you. So I was like, damn, I miss James, man. We want to see Kirkland back in something, you know what I mean? So I'm just glad to have you on right now, man. So so you said you've just been doing business lately. Yeah, most definitely. But this, this is this is what's so crazy, man. You know, I got a lot of stuff that's been taking place from uh, from getting my house and doing different different activities, man. But the number one thing right now is getting back in the spotlight and possibly taking place in October October the nineteenth uh, is the day they have me uh, scheduled to fight underneath the Golden Boy uh, promotion car. So uh, I'm definitely excited, man. I've been just uh, uh, trying to get back out there so everybody say, oh, shit, Kirk, he's back fighting. Kirk, okay, that's what's going on, man. Uh, we definitely going to stay tuned and watch. And all my all my, uh, all my, my tricks in the bag and everything that uh, I've been working hard to do, every, just like, uh, you know, if you ain't rode a bike in a long time and you the time for you to get on it, you know, it just takes a couple. It, t- it takes a couple minutes before you know, but everything will fall back into place, and you'll learn. You'll know exactly how you, you know, once before. At the end of the day, man, I'm just uh, everything is just come back into place and just ready, man. I've been spawning crazy. I've been trying to have Dan in Texas. Been trying to have anybody and everybody come down and give me that work. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and it's just it's been it's been outstanding on my behalf so far. Okay, well, um, which promotion and um promoter you signed to now, or are you just a free agent? No, nah, it's crazy because I end up doing a deal with Golden Boy Promotion, and uh, we we can reconnect it and, and got a lot of uh, things uh, aired out, and you know, pretty much moving forward and uh. uh getting things tightened back up, man. They're getting me scheduled to fight, like I said, October 19th, and I'm just looking forward. I'm going to uh, maximize my potential, you know? Right, right. So, Golden Boy, they treating you good? Because I know you've been, you were signing them before, then you were signing the SMS promotion. I know you had been going through a lot of bad promotions. So, so they treating you well this time around. Yes, yes, yes. They they basically let me know certain things that took place and certain things they was unhappy with. But then at the end of the day, they say, hey, look, you know what? Perkins definitely stand up guy. He's a fighter. He's a guy that's going to uh, uh, always come to fight and uh, put on a good show. And they, they, they managed that. So they're like, yeah, man, Kirkman would definitely love to have you join and do this and that. And just a great opportunity just to get back out there and, in that spotlight to fight some of the greatest fighters still out there in the game. Right, right, right. Are, are you going to stay at 154 or are you moving up? It's crazy because uh, my first fight back is going to be at 160, and I'm going to see how comfortable I am at 160. And, you know me, yeah. I mean? Either way it go, man, if, if uh, Canelo and, you know, you got everybody, everybody stepping it up going to that 160, I'm like, shit, man, that may be <laughs> – and moving on up, everybody got to start moving up where the big boys is at and, and stay in that, in that lead to try to get uh, 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 a rematch, you know. At, at the end of the day, that's my number one potential goal. Uh, but at the end of the day, man, right now I'm just focused, taking one step at a time and getting put back out there and uh, 
just now I'm going to start being all over the media and every, anywhere and everywhere because, you know, I just read a new deal, but um, I'm pretty happy, excited all at the same time. Right, right. Um, my my next question for you, James, man, um, is did, did did since you said you're coming back October 19th, What's the potential names that are opponents they selecting you that you might fight next? That that's the crazy part about it. That's the only thing I don't know. So okay, to me, my only my friend is saying, train as you ever train hard as you ever train before because you don't know who that person may be on the other side of the ring. You know, right. so that's what I'm looking at. Like, hey. You know, you fight somebody and you be thinking that uh, that one particular way and they be a superstar, ex-world champion, they be some kind of crazy stuff. So uh, my number one thing is saying stay active, stay moving, and give it your all every time you step in the ring. So. Okay, okay. You know, um, I was thinking, I was doing some matchmaking in my head and I was like, yo, um, a guy I brought up was um, Kel Brook, and I did it, like, probably a week or two ago. And I was like, yo, mm-hmm. him and Kel Brook will be such a mega fight because, you know, Eddie Hearn and um, them guys in the U.K., most of the bo- boxing fights is pay-per-view, and they're getting mm-hmm. millions and millions and millions of dollars just to fight in the U.K. And I was like, yo, Kel Brook and James Kirkland will be such a – Mega showdown. If um, what, what you think about that fight, and what you think about Kell Brook and fighting in the UK? I I, I say get to Kell Brook. Like I like I always say about fighters, man. Not mm-hmm. every a person got their own willpower, mental mind, and strategy stepping in the ring until someone gets punched. You know what I'm saying? So things change, and you know, and I. Don't, well, all I can say about almost every fighter, you know, they come with their own potential and gift and, and style, what gives them that unique look that people like, you know. So when it comes to me, you know, I say he's definitely a, a skilled fighter. He's one of the uh, one of the best fighters, you know. But me, I, I love to fight anybody, you know. I just want to see see myself get out there, give me these one of these tune up fights, man, and then. Uh, pretty much gun for it because like right now I say I'm not taking no time back. I'm not uh being relentless. I'm just going in a hundred percent head forward, doing what I'm doing. They got me there, you know, got me where I'm at now. So um just totally uh blessed and I'm just taking taking uh this opportunity to, to expand and uh move forward. All right, all right. You know, um, did you get a chance to see him against um, Triple G? Because he, he moved up to 160, and he didn't look too well against Triple G. I was wondering if you got a chance to see. Uh, when when when, when, he, when Kel Book uh, fought Triple G? Yeah. Yeah, I've I seen that whole showdown. Um, at the end of the day, you know, you could say, he didn't look that good. I, I Me, mean, I can actually sit there and say he came with some nice punching power to kind of, you know, uh, stung Triple G many different times, stopped him in his track, made him regroup, switch styles. Anytime you, you do that to any opponent, you know, uh, uh, to make him regroup or reanalyze or refocus, you know, that's taking, you know, that's taking uh, – a person use my frame they could be doing to to uh, go for on their own particular craft or own game plan, but switching the game plan up because a person's skill is on a whole different level. That takes a oh, whole yeah. other talent, you know what I mean? So I definitely, I definitely give it to Kill Books. He took care of his business. He tried to uh, maintain and stay in there. You know, he coming from a lighter, lighter weight class and. And uh, now he uh, moved to 160 and went in and fight one of the best people in the world. And, hey, you know, the best man win. And, you know, I watched that fight, and it was a great fight on both on both behalves, on both ends, you know. Right, right. 
if whoever your handlers, your promoters, if y'all if I y'all ever get the chance to fight Kel Brook, man, I know you'll get a great payday, probably your biggest payday fighting him. 